Hey, welcome to another six minute sales force. Uh, today we're going to be working with the schema uh, that sits underneath pretty much everything inside of Salesforce. Um, so we're going to do a, a get global describe on the schema and that returns a map of uh, strings to this uh, very special object, the schema s object type. And we need to build a, a map to reflect that, right? So we'll call this our uh, schema map. And that, like I said, is going to go to the schema dot get global describe. And that's just going to get everything in our, our, our current schema. Um, that includes custom objects, pretty much everything. So let's just uh, print out this schema map real quick and see basically what we have inside of here. So we'll look at the key set like we did in the previous uh, map video. And let's see what we have. So open up the debug. And inside here, you can see we have counts. We have all kinds of, of good stuff in there. Um, all the normal stuff that you're used to seeing inside of Salesforce itself. So now let's use our knowledge of maps and how to kind of maneuver around inside of a map. And let's, let's figure out what we have mapped inside of these uh, or, or to these keys right so we're going to do schema map dot get and we're going to use the account all lowercase because that's the key and let's see what the value is and it should just be uh, account with a capital A so I'm kind of making a prediction there as to what it'll get and so now when we run this uh, we'll, we'll see what it spits out but what we want to do is we want to do a little bit more with this right we want to make a list of strings and I'll describe why in a second but these are going to be the s object types and it's just a list of s object types that we want to to get so what we're going to do is we're going to put a count in here because we all know uh, what account looks like so we're going to add it to the list and we're just going to do one for now um, but you can do as many as you want so this list we're going to pass into a function of the schema. The schema has a, a function that basically goes out and it will get the um, it'll get all the fields and everything from this object. And the result is called a describe s object result, um, and it's a special uh, object inside a schema. And we're we're going to call this account object result. And so that's going to get the output of this function that we're going to call on schema. So we're going to do schema and then we're going to call the function um, describe objects or describe s objects, sorry. And that takes in a list of strings, which are the types. And that's why I built that string to begin with. So basically, we're just going to pass in, um, sorry, not that string, that list of strings. So we're going to pass in our list of strings here, s object types. And it's just going to get a count because we only have one in there, but we can add more later if we want. And now let's debug um, the results here. So we should be able to do account object result. And if you watched the list video, you know that there's a lot of things that we can do here with this list. So we have this list. Um, it's got all these results in here. We're going to grab the first one in the list. We're going to get the fields property of that, and then we're going to use the get map function to map those fields. So what we're looking at is all the things that you're used to seeing already. This is just going to be in the console instead. So basically, the account and the map of the fields, and it's all the, it's everything that you've seen inside of Salesforce itself already. So you should notice a lot of things in there that look familiar um, all the fields that you're used to so let's check this out in the console and then here we go so if you look at this list of fields there's a zillion of them in there um, but if you look at these guys they're all they should all be recognizable to you you should you should have seen these when messing with accounts and stuff like that so to get a better idea of all the fields that we have Let's actually separate these out. Let's make a full list of strings. We're going to call it fields. 
um, and we're basically going to build this uh, as we go along, right? So we're going to build this from what we've already got, and then we're just going to console log these guys or, or uh, system.debug these guys one at a time so we can actually run through this list. And this is more along the lines of something that you would do when um, when you're when you're trying to add these to maybe a drop down menu or something like that. So we've we've already got the code um, as I've highlighted above. We got the get map, and now we're going to get the key set uh, from that mapping, and we're just going to run these guys out. This is this is the complicated way to do this for sure. Um, there's way better ways to do this, but I'm just trying to illustrate a point here. So we're going to loop through all these fields um, for every field in fields, um, just system.debug field. So we're going to run through these one by one, and this is just going to make us a big, long list. And I'm going to comment out this get map up here because we don't need to look at that whole map. Um, but we're still looking at the account object. Just remember that. And we're still looking at all the fields on the account object. We haven't changed anything. So we're going to run through these fields. And we should, again, have that same list of fields. It's just going to be lengthened. It's going to be one per line. And so now we go look and see here, here are all those familiar fields. We can go look at each, each one uh, separately. So this is something you would want to do when creating something that interacts with your objects inside of your org you might want to list all the objects that you have. You might not want to list all the objects that you have. You might want to list all the fields that a, a particular object has. You might want to list all the fields that all the objects have. Whichever way you want to do it, if you want to let the user interact with these things, schema is what you're going to need to use there. Um, so I'll see you next time on the advanced version of schema and six-minute Salesforce.